Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel T to the Y to the M to the A or A. All right, today we're going to see what's going on in your energy. So Spirit, please give me a message for the Sagittarius Collective. Remember, this is a general reading. And if you want a personal, please check out bandtomorrow.com. All right, let's see what's coming towards you, Sagittarius. First, we want to make sure we cleanse this energy. All right, if you got your earphones in, just pause for a second. Spirit, what's the topic for Sagittarius Collective? Please use me as a vessel to speak. Very precise love and truth. What's the situation? Manifestation. What else is coming towards Sagittarius? Rebuilding. <laughs> and imagination. I love this for you. I love this for you, Sag. Okay, you have manifestation, rebuilding, and using your imagination. I see you are finding something that's going to help you to be free. You're finding your freedom. It's going to make you very happy and it's going to be filled with joy. And you are in this energy of inspiring others by your walk of life, what you're doing, how you're moving, things that you're just, it's a lot going on for you. And I'm loving this for you. Okay. Let's go, Spirit. What's going on with this manifestation energy for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, in your life, you have the Seven of Cups in the reverse followed by the Hangman. In your life, there is a point of time in the past where you felt like you were stuck. You felt trapped, stuck in a situation. You didn't know how you was going to get out of it. Like emotionally, you could have been battling with a lot of just emotions all over the place. You were not happy with your situation, happy with your life. You felt like you were very limited when it came to doing certain things. So you're like, hey, I'm going to manifest this life I want because I don't like what I have going on. I don't like my job. I don't like the relationship I'm in. My kids going crazy. Like things are just going on. You don't feel right. Your health could have been affecting you. You felt like you didn't have the right type of friends around you or in your environment. Uh, so I feel like this kind of gave you like a reality check. And you feel like maybe in the past you made some poor choices that you were not happy of, um, happy with or proud of. And you wanted something to change for you. You wanted something different. You feel like you just had a lack of choices. Because we have a lack of choice coming out here several different times. You realize that it's something you had to let go of. Or you had to step into this energy of just sacrificing something. Like what do I need to give up or change? Do I need to give up my time and my freedom in order to get this life that I want? Do I need to go harder? Do I need to concentrate? Do I need to study? What is it that I need to do? So I feel like... You had to really give yourself a reality check to figure out like what's going on because I'm not where I want to be in life. So let me know, Spirit, what's going on with this rebuilding energy? I feel like you got to a point in life where you felt defeated. You felt like things just was not working out for you. Um... You could have dealt with a lot of underhanded behavior, people stepping on people's toes, especially at the job, I'm feeling, or mentally. This could have been in several different avenues of your life. It felt like you were defeated. This could have been in your relationship. This also can have something to do with uh, some self-sabotaging behavior, feeling like you're not good enough. Maybe you were working on projects or doing something, and by the time you get to the next step, you will quit, do something else. Then you'll do something else again, then you'll quit and do something else. So you realize, like, there's something I need to fix, work on, or correct because I want this life that I so definitely want. You know, I definitely want. I need this. So, I feel like somebody is overcoming possible, maybe somebody dealt with some type of assault. Some type of crime. uh, Some type of violence. Maybe like some DV going on, possibly. Or either... 
just some underhanded behavior. Underhand where was this underhanded behavior? Let me see. Let me pull the situations. What is this that Sagittarius need to rebuild? I'm getting self-sabotaging behavior. Like either always move this over. We have tragedy at the bottom of the deck as well as um, forbidden love. So I feel like you're re you're rebuilding yourself because you dated somebody that you know you shouldn't date it because you were way better than this and you didn't deserve this type of treatment. This person could have been abusive physically, mentally, um, emotionally, or you just kept running and avoiding certain situations. When things got hard, you would run and avoid certain situations. And next thing you know, you know, you run long enough. You can't run away from yourself. So you'll see yourself in the mirror and they'll catch up with you and say, hey, you keep running away from these situations. We're going to keep on testing you and putting you back in another situation until you learn this lesson. And learn this lesson that's meant to be learned at this time. And this could have had something to do with uh, people in general or relationships is what I'm getting. At. A lot of different relationships where th these relationships dealt with like a lack of communication. Maybe you're in this space in life where you're like, okay, I want to learn how to communicate properly how can we understand each other i want you to understand the words coming out of my mouth i want you to understand me like how can we understand each other when it comes to the relationships or the, the relationships that you currently do have the people that you truly do love the people that you feel brings happiness in your life but you're just not seeing eye to eye i feel like you're in this energy of manifesting the life that you want and because you are changing it's inspiring others and you're in this energy of rebuilding yourself working on yourself trying to find a better way to communicate a better way to surrender let things go that you just cannot um that it's not serving you in general walk learning to walk away from things versus sitting there arguing with people you like you got it i don't have time to be sitting here arguing with you i'm not, gonna, I'm not about to be your fool you want to sit here and argue with yourself so and you're learning not to run and avoid things, but to face it head on. Be like, I'm not going to bite my tongue. I'm going to let you know how I feel because I'm not going to keep running away from things. I'm, I, I, I've dealt with this before and I felt very, I felt unhappy. I felt unhappy in situations. So what else is going on here? There's this energy here too as well. While you're sitting here and manifesting a life that you desire and changing yourself, somebody wants to rebuild with you. They feel like you bring happiness into them li into their lives. They are going on this hamster wheel, dealing with the daily hustle. Uh, somebody could be dealing with some financial issues or just like their life is feeling kind of boring right now. They feel like they just work and it's not, no type of excitement or anything, but they feel like they had excitement when they were with you. So somebody is like racing, trying to come towards you. Um... To see if y'all can possibly dis have a discussion or communicate or talk. They want to rebuild this relationship with you. Because they felt like they had happiness when y'all were communicating. When y'all had a relationship. But you feel like this person is kind of a trigger for you. This was a person that you could have walked away from. This was a person where you felt like in this initial, um, situation dynamic, I felt defeated. There was no winning with you. You always seemed like you were out to, for the most part, like you were out to get me. Or you just had some underhanded behavior. I don't like the way you communicate with me. Because I feel like this somebody's... The way somebody talks, so they communicate. Somebody speaks very aggressive. Whoever this air sign is. Could be a possible Aquarius. Or Scorpio. Okay, Spirit, give me more on this imagination. Someone feels like they can't stop thinking about you. They have a magnetic pull. Like they can't resist thinking about you. And they dream about you. They feel your energy. Somebody wants to talk about you. Like when a song played, they think they like you just keep popping up in their mind. So they're kind of imagining meeting up with you, taking a risk to try to communicate with you. But I feel like you got your freedom. You broke free away from this person. And you have been happy ever since. I'm not getting dating relationship. Not yet. Because I don't see the lovers out here. But I feel like this is a person you're kind of breaking away from. Maybe this is a person you once used to go out with. Have drinks with. Nightlife. 
I'm getting a strong energy. You just kind of in your bubble. You're working on the light, manifesting the life that you wanted. You just had a reality check with somebody. You felt trapped with somebody in this relationship. You realized that things kept going wrong or going left when you was in this relationship with this person. And so you broke free. And this person just cannot stop thinking about you. They're trying to pull on your energy. Maybe this person randomly would pop up in your head. Songs are reminding them of you. They're thinking about taking a risk. Maybe you and this person went to Vegas together. Or you used to go to the casino, hang out, go have drinks. With this nightlife card coming out here. Okay, so what is serving Sagittarius in this situation with serving them? You broke away from them. You got your freedom. You released them. This could be a Gemini. You're in this energy of taking control back over your life. You're just rebuilding. Somebody could be rebuilding at the breakup, rebuilding at the uh, divorce, rebuilding at the losing a job, re rebuilding at the dealing with this abusive relationship or this deceptive person. Somebody did something that you really had to recover from. Somebody could be rebuilding from a toxic childhood or relationship you just found your freedom you pulled yourself away from a situation it took a while you took a risk and you pulled yourself out of a situation you felt like you dealt with a lot of setbacks and now you're in this energy of recovery here you are a resilience energy you felt like something was a, a ongoing battle that made you feel drained some type of like I'm getting two different energies. Rather, this is a relationship where somebody drained you. You had to like break free, get your freedom and break away from them. In general, their relationship, this, and they still keep pulling on your energy, thinking about you, wanting you and all this stuff. Um, You like ran away as fast as you could and you're not looking back. But others of you, you're just in the strong energy of like building a life that you want and is inspiring other people because you have changed and you're building yourself you're rebuilding you are a brand new person and it seems like you just have this glow of happiness all over you and it seems like you just have this look or energy of freedom like you don't answer nobody answer to people i feel like maybe rather you whether you work a nine to five or not, or you are a business owner, or entrepreneur, whatever it is, it is, I feel like you still have your freedom. Whether you work from home on a computer or you get to dictate your schedule or you come and go as you please. You could be a student, but you still like dictate your schedule. Some, Whoever this is that's in your energy, it seems like you have a lot more freedom than what this person does. And some somebody senses your freedom and happiness and is inspiring them to change or do something different for themselves. You seem to have a lot of, I feel like you have a strong backbone now. With this energy of rebuilding yourself, you seem like you built the backbone. Maybe before you let people run over you or push over you, but now your happiness comes from you having a, currently having a backburn, a backbone. Um, and you're very close to success. You are like a person who like they back you into a corner. You're going to come out fighting and swinging. It ain't no cowering, cowering, <laughs> cowering, how you say that word or crying and being in the corner. Like, no, you are a warrior. You're going to come out fighting. Now the wines, you got a bandage on. You're going to fight. Overall, I feel like you're just strongly in this energy of rebuilding because you learn from your past mistakes and your past failures. What else is going on here? So what's the obstacle standing in Sagittarius' way? The obstacle standing in your way as you're rebuilding is dealing with some possible money issues with the Six of Pentacles coming out. I feel like Either there's some debt here that need to be cleared up. You're like, I can, I'm so close to being this person that I want to be. If I didn't have these bills or this money stuff going on or this court case or these unpaid, somebody, I just keep hearing child support, somebody owe back child support or something. It's like, once you free up this bad debt or free up these money problems, like, that's it. You off to the races of, like, truly morphing into being this person that you want to be. What's the outcome here? Two of Wands in reverse. 
the outcome is you got to keep on going and not have a fear of changing. Like when things get tough, don't give up. Because maybe right now for some of you, you're in this energy of rebuilding. Like I'm on, rebuilding is giving me an energy of somebody like rebuilding their credit or trying to clear their credit up at the like a, a repossession or eviction or a bankruptcy or a breakup or a divorce or something. You're strongly in this energy of you have your freedom now. You just want your income to match. You just recently got a new job or you're getting back on your feet. And they telling you like, don't fear this change that's coming in. Keep on going. Don't give up on a change. Don't go back to that old relationship. Don't go back to who you used to be, but keep on going. You have to like keep persevering and not... um. I feel like don't put energy into keep moving forward. Don't put energy into something that you once had to leave or walk away from. Because now you're on the other side. You're inspiring other people and you're going to have a lot more happiness by keep on moving forward. So keep moving forward. The lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini here. I feel like lately you made a lot of major choices and keep moving forward with the major choices. You want to be around people who share the same similar values, who are, it's an equal partnership, where y'all truly love each other. See, you're on to a new beginning. You are on to a new beginning, traveling, uh, just being your spontaneous self. I feel like you're stepping into this energy where you seem like you're young again. You're like your spirit feels young. You feel new again. You're you're feeling vibrant. You're just like there's nobody controlling your actions or what you're doing and how you're moving. You're manifesting this life you want and you're rebuilding yourself. Rebuilding, I feel like keeps wanting to say credit score. Somebody rebuilding a credit score. Trying to get a new car. Trying to purchase a house. Trying to do something new. You're using your imagination. imagination. Whatever this is that you're building, it's going to allow you a lot more freedom. It's going to inspire other people. It's bringing you joy and happiness as long as you keep on going on this new route don't resort don't go backwards don't fear the change that's coming in don't stop the change that's coming in make sure you keep on like moving forward and yeah moving forward with this let me pull an angel number you have angel number 0330 this piece of like a lucky shirt. This piece of pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals. See, so you you manifest into the life you want. You're inspiring other people by the way you communicate. Um, you got a lot of love and peace coming towards you, hope and optimism. Um, you transferring the responsibility to others. So you're like, I'm not holding all this stress to myself. I'm if somebody gonna help me, please help me. <laughs> I'm not doing all this myself. I'm gonna like have some help. You are progressing forward, you're moving forward, you're making a lot of progress, and you are in this energy of being very creative, creating the life that you want for yourself. What else is coming towards Sage? You have angel number 0505, and this speaks of unexpected shift. Divine interventions, sudden challenges, love, pleasant surprises, gut feeling. It says, this number serves as a gentle nudge to pursue whatever interests you, whatever interest you most. It's possible that something could rock your boat, but you'll end up exactly where you belong, which could be in somebody's arms, your dream job, or living abroad. So something drastic could be happening. I feel like the drastic thing that's happening for you is your finances, but that's the thing that's going to catapult you. I feel like spirit is in the intervening right now and your finances. And you know how sometimes you get in that energy like, I will never be here again. I will never be in this situation again. Once I fix this situation, rather filing bankruptcy, fixing taxes, or rebuild my life, I learned my lesson. I'm not going there anymore. I would not be in this energy feeling trapped or letting somebody have control over me or my finances or my future. I'm going to save. I'm going to invest. I'm going to buy real estate. I'm going to do all these things to shift my life in the right direction. And so you may be dealing with some challenges right now, but it's for the right reason. 
And lastly, we have angel number 1717. And this speaks of independence, soul mission, a long time learning, healing, and aspirations. It says, take a few deep breaths and focus inward. Mm, okay. You need time to think things over and consider your options. At this time, you must rely solely on yourself. You might not believe it, but you're heading in the right direction. What appears to be a law in activity is just a natural part of the process. So you feel like something is, you feel like something is just like hard right now, but they just let you know it's a part of the process. Just take a few deep breaths, just focus. You need time to think things over, but consider, consider your options. They say you're heading in the right direction. You may not believe it, but you're in the right direction. You're going through this shift, but it's in the right direction. So keep on going. Keep on progressing. You got this, Sag. You got this. Let me pull a healing card. Let's see. Okay, where my healing, where my healing deck go? Okay, are we not? I don't have that deck out here. Well, I felt the need to pull it if I don't see. Okay, look, it's right here in my face. Mm. With the glasses on. <laughs> With the glasses on. Okay. Okay. What else, Spirit? For the next seven days in the morning, set clear intentions for your day and visualize yourself achieving your goals. Set intentions. Setting intentions allows us to be accountable while taking control of our personal choices in our life. So they are when you take control of your personal choices in your life by setting a clear intention for your day and visualize yourself achieving it. You want to buy a car? Picture yourself in that car. What color does it look? How does it drive? Does it have a sunroof? Does it have a drop top? Are the seats leather? Does it does it warm your butt and your booty up? Like, what does this car do? You got to picture yourself in that. And in the morning time, set your intentions. How does it look with you walking across that stage? How does it look with you getting that promotion? How does it look having love? How does it look being able to, you know, go to the store and not have to check your door and, you know, your balance? I got to sign into your phone and check to see how much money you got. How does it feel to not have to do that anymore to get whatever you want off the shelf and throw it in the bag? And also, we have several relationships with toxic people who no longer serve your highest good. This is how you can heal. They are telling you several relationships with people who don't serve your highest good. Um, also, lastly, decide whether compromising can bridge a gap or if a respectful partner is the best path for you both. So why are you rebuilding your life? You really need to decide. Uh, should I rebuild this relationship or should I really just set the, set the ties and just call it? That's that's just what it is. We're not going to make up. It ain't no going back. We're not making this relationship up. I don't I don't care to work on this relationship. I'm going to sever these ties. And you're going to set your clear intentions and you're going to move forward. But this is how you're going to heal. All right, this is all I have for you. If anything resonated, leave me a message down below and I'll see you next time. Take care.